Hey gents, Carl here with Tactical Rifleman. You know the deal. If you like the videos, click that subscribe button and the little bell button also so that you can uh, get notified whenever we put out a new video. Right? Um, today, I'm throwing a little bait out there because I want to get all the negative com uh, comments from you all. Right? Uh, still want the thumbs up, but feel free to comment all you want. How do I do that? Mm, How is my evil mind going to piss all of you off? I'm going to do that by talking about fixed blade knives. I know all the Marines are going to say the only fixed blade knife you ever need is the K-Bar and people are loyal to this brand or that brand and oh you got to have a bench made, you got to have this, you got to have that. Uh, gents, uh, a knife is a knife, really don't care. Now where the idea for this video came up is I've had people come and visit and they walk in my man room and on some of my bookshelves I've got behind glass probably $20,000 worth of fixed blade knives. Right? Why? Because I don't use them. I don't need them. I don't. You only need a couple of knives. Pick one and conquer that particular kind. It's just like rifles. You don't need to be good with 20 different kinds of rifles or pistols. You need to be great with one type of rifle or pistol. That's why I'm pitching this out there. But yeah, I kind of want to hear your comments about it. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about Fixed blade knives. Now, why why do we carry fixed blade knives when you know Carl carries a folding knife in his pocket all the time? Carl carries a Leatherman. Fixed blade knife saves time for deployment. That thing is always oh, it's always there. It's always open. And fixed blade knives are stronger. Right? This thing I don't have to worry about the lock dying on it. Right? As thin as this knife is, it's still full tang, and you're not going to break this knife. You're not. Right, especially when it comes to utility work, chopping, things like that, you've got to have a, a very, very tough knife. Right, now, as far as combat knives, there's three different general attacks with a knife. The first is a stab. Now, uh, perhaps the best one for a stab would be the old Sykes Fairbairn. Now, this is made by Spartan Knives. It's modeled after the original SAS Sykes Fairbairn. Great, great knife. When it comes to stabbing, the thin blade, very sharp point, passes between the ribs easy. And it's, you see it's long enough, it's going to get back inside where all those uh, important organs are at. All right, the next attack is a slash. Now, a slash, you need that razor's edge and you need a long blade because it's cutting as it's moving. Perhaps the best weapon for that would be like a katana sword. Right? And then your third attack is a chop. I uh, think a kukuri blade or perhaps like a hatchet. A lot of weight out at the end, and when you bring it down, you're delivering all that force down on that narrow area. And uh, anyways, a chop applies all that pressure right there. Those are your three basic attacks. All right, so for me, when I go to decide what kind of knife do I want to carry, I want a balance of all three of those attacks. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I've seen guys overseas carrying tomahawks, all right, but they're only good at chopping. A tomahawk is not good for a slash or a stab. Try stabbing with a tomahawk, all right? Um, I, I even saw a young Air Force PJ who kept a katana across the back of his rucksack. I mean, I, come on, you know, put down the controller and uh, let's, let's go out onto the modern battlefield. Now, that katana it takes up a lot of space, everything else. It's not that good for chopping wood. Right now, and then the other attack, the stab. I've seen guys carry narrow bladed knives, all right, but um, that's, it's only good for that attack, the stab. It's not good for a slash, it's not good for a chop. And what I needed was a balance of all three of them, all right. Um, the one I found I like the best, this is made by Blackjack Knives. Uh, you see, it, it's got quite a bit of wear on it. I first carried this thing in Desert Storm. Right? Is that dating myself a little bit? Yeah. Uh, but you notice, first attack, the stab, that point is sharp enough, narrow enough. I can't get between the ribs with it. As far as a slash goes, long curved blade, you're going to get lots of cutting action. This puppy's razor sharp. And then the third attack of the chop, you notice I've got weighted out here at the end of the blade. It's, it's balanced very well. I get the balance of all three knives with this thing. So 
A lot of times if you see me out in the field, uh, this would be what I have on the side of my pack. It's good for general purpose use around the campsite without being overly crazy in one direction or the other. A very good, well-rounded knife. Now, could I mount this on my body armor? My 35 pounds of lightweight kit. Yeah, but every ounce I add to it, I'm adding more weight. So what I did was I tried to find the next smaller knife. All right now, the one that I found is made, it's actually this one right here. It's by Blackhawk, it's called the Night Edge. All right now, you can favor one brand over the other, all right? But handles curved so that you know what direction the blade's facing in the dark. The point is thin enough that you can get your stabs. It's long enough and sharp enough that I can get those slashes. All right, um, but it's also got a lot of weight out towards the end. I don't know if you can see, it's thinned here, but it gets thick back out by the end of the blade. All right, and what that does is it gives me enough mass on the outer edge so that I can get a good chop, for, uh, chop with it. So at this blade, that's, gents, that for me, again, this is just my opinion, this gives me the balance for all three of those attacks. All right, so, uh, You'll notice that's what I have on my body armor, right? So when I grab it, I bring it up into my hand. Well, it's mounted on the front of my body armor right here. If somebody pins my rifle down to my front, instead of going for my pistol, I have that knife blade right there. I grab him by the head. I have the carotid arteries. I have the kidneys. And if nothing else, I can make space, get him off of me so that I can then uh, pull out my pistol. All right, so that's why I carry this one on my kit. Now, if I'm out in the field, again, I like to have muscle memory. I don't like to master 50 different types of firearms. Same things with uh, guns, uh, same things with knives. I, I, I use the exact same knife uh, when I'm in the field. I've got, I don't know how many trips to the woods with this knife. It's not quite as pretty as the new one, um, notice these were both serrated at one time. I have resharpened this knife so many times that there's only one or two serrations left on it. But gents, you can, uh, you can shave with this knife. All right, so um, anyways, that's, that's the one I carry in the field. Now, I'm not I mentioned carrying it in the field because you're gonna use a knife a hundred times for utility purposes over actual combat situations. Right, uh, so you want a, a large knife for cutting things, right? um, chopping brush, um, using it to baton wood, put your block of wood, take another uh, piece of wood and you can actually knock this blade and split those pieces of wood. You can't really do that with a, with a folding pocket knife. Right? Uh, I mentioned serrated blades. Serrated blades versus uh, straight blades. Serrated blades are for people that don't know how to sharpen a knife. I, I sharpen my pocket knife every. I sharpen my pocket knife every Monday, every Monday, Monday morning, and gents, you can shave with this thing. I can shave hair off my arm all day long, and uh, you can shave with my knife. To me, there's no reason to carry a knife if it's not razor sharp. All right, uh, you can do that with all these knives. I'm actually a, a hairy son of a gun. All right. I check my knives a lot. All right, so I'm a little mental. In the field, uh, this is the sharpener that I carry. Um, it's got covers to protect the diamond sides on it. You just flip them over. It's, uh, it's got the ceramic stone on the end if you have a serrated edge, but for the most part, it's got the angle guides. You can sharpen it there, and then it's got the leather part for stropping uh, the blade at the end, uh, polishing it up. Uh, and again, I'll put links to this stuff in the write-up underneath the video. Be sure to uh, check the write-up. Right. Um, what else do I want to carry? Uh, cover real quick. Sheaths. A bunch of you guys have been asking, how do, you, how do I attach my sheaths to my kit? Um, when it comes to sheaths, I like Kydex. Kydex is awesome. Now, these Night Edge knives by Blackhawk, they come in two types of sheaths. One is a nylon designed for the field. I don't like it. The other one is a uh, injection molded plastic. I don't particularly like that sheath either. 
So what I did was, this is a Kydex sheath off of a different knife, one of my dozens of knives that are behind glass. And what I did was I just heated it up, put my knife into it, let me turn it over, clamped it down and remolded re my knife sheath to my actual knife. And what I did was I wove it with 550 cord so I could run a, a um, a belt through here, belt sideways if I wanted it mounted across my back that way or like this or even diagonally, run it through the double loop on this side, the lower loop over here and I can have the knife mounted at a 45 degree angle. Now as far as mounting the sheaths to your kit, uh, my little knife down here, it's just zip ties guys, this is nothing high speed. Put your sheath where you want it. This sheath on my kit tucks behind my magazine pouches you don't need molly to attach the molly. All your knife sheaths have got all the holes running down the side. Run a zip tie through it, zip tie it to the molly, and it'll, it'll go right in, piece of cake. All right, so anyways, that's my take on knives. Yes, I carry a folding knife. You're not gonna see me without a, uh, a good Spyderco or a Benchmade, something like that. Yes, I always carry a Leatherman. You need to have a good Leatherman with you. But gents, if I'm in a field or out doing something where I might have to put my life behind something, I'm going to have a fixed blade knife with me. So anyways, uh, you know the deal. I'm looking forward to your comments because I know all of you are going to say your knife is better than my knife. I, I got that. I understand that. I encourage you to share your opinions with our other viewers. Let the games begin. All right. So um, again, comment and uh, I'll see you next time. You take care. Shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.